Today's lesson is about bio responses, mindfulness, and man managing our emotions. How they connect are also important to each other. How they impact decision making as well. Our brains are a muscle that we must use if we want it to grow. We can increase our emotional emotional intelligence which it can lead to better goal setting controlling our effort and build confidence but why are these things so important because it helps increase our emotional intelligence that's why which is the ability to recognize our emotions understand what they're telling us and how our emotions can affect those around us. Bioresponses. What are bioresponses? Bioresponses are a, our brain's survival tactics. They are from deep, deep inside of our brain. In the limbic system called the amygdala. They are how the brain thinks to protect you. Think of it like a survival response. And there are four of those. That is fight, flight, freeze, and appease. They're a collection of biophysical changes that can happen in our brain that tricks us into perceiving that we might be in a threat or it's something that happens. And it's something that happens on autopilot. It is one of our very first parts of our brain that's developed so that makes it tend to not think with your frontal lobe. What is mindfulness? Mindfulness is also like bioresponses, but it helps you focus, communicate, and learn what are, learn when you're totally present in the moment, focusing on an experience. At hand. If reflecting on it after being mindful or having a mindful response is a great example of your frontal lobe working hard it is responsible for rational thought out thinking shows empathy towards others and what they are going through managing emotions Understanding them is crucial to managing your emotions. Everyone is affected differently by emotions, but the key to managing those emotions is to take time to reflect on your emotional responses. And there's a strategy for this short-term response and long-term goals. The step process, which is stop engaging, stop engaging the challenge, take a breath, evaluate the situation, and proceed to re-engage with the challenges. There are many long-term strategies as well, like breathing, relaxing, soothing, distracting yourself, writing in a journal. If you can learn to manage your emotions, it can cause the frontal lobe to become more prevalent and bioresponses less. Bioresponses you have little control over. Mindfulness makes you use your frontal lobe. Frontal lobes are where we want to be. Thank you.